Be honest, you got kids? Do you think they're entitled? Yeah. We have kids that don't, they just don't say thank you. My son doesn't say thank you like that. That's, he doesn't, he's not appreciative. And I'm different, I'm, I grew up with nothing, humble beginnings. Getting sneakers when I was growing up was an event. It was a thing, we didn't have, I, I got sneakers twice a year. We got sneakers in the beginning of the school year. And when my grandmother got her ink on, <laughs> we knew because she opened the mailbox and said, hi, you got here the ink on time. <laughs> my grandmother took me to a sneaker store they don't even have anymore, Buster Browns. And Buster Browns was a real shoe store. And you knew that because the dude working there had on a suit. When you walked in, he treated you like somebody. Welcome to Buster Browns. What would you like? And you felt, you were like, I want, I want to get something. Because at that point, the sneakers I had was broken. They had a mouth in the front, as my friends would say. <laughs> Yo, Mark Sneakers is hungry. Because <laughs> my sneakers was like. <laughs> and that man at Buster Brown's, he took those sneakers off me, put them to the side. He brought out the sneakers I'd never seen before. I only heard of them in the streets, you know. A pair of sneakers called Wildcats. When that man came from behind that little stock room with the Wildcat sneaker, you ever had cold water poured on your back and you go like this here? <sighs> That's what happened. I saw the sneakers and I went <gasps> <laughs> He put them on me, he tied the perfect bow he said, walk around, and I was walking in the store, and I was looking at my grandmother. She said, how they feel? I said, something's happening. Uh, I, said, I feel so, so strong in these. Uh, I feel strong. Like, I know something was happening, because I could feel it in my foot, you know? I, my grandmother said, you want them? I said, yeah, please. And we're leaving the store, and I turned, I said, thank you, sir. And he said, hold on, we're not done yet. And he took out of a little, Package, a headband. <laughs> and the headband had a wildcat right here. <laughs> and he put that headband on me. I'm gonna tell you right now, I felt the spirit of the wildcat because he put the headband on and I just went whoosh. That was all I had. The wildcat. It was too much. We got out that store and I ran. When I tell y'all, if y'all would have seen me, you would have been like, look at him go. I ran so fast that I got to the street corner and left my grandmother behind. And I was standing there waiting. I'm like, Ma! Hurry up! Because I couldn't cross the street without her. I had to wait. You so slow. They didn't make grab my wildcats. I remember running back towards the neighborhood. And I got to the block and all my friends were like, oh, look at it, oh. And I didn't say nothing to them because I was holding it in, you know. And I see my grandfather. My grandfather's an auto mechanic. You know, he had his, his head in the hood and I could hear He's ratcheting away. And I said, Papi, look, my, my, my sneaker. He didn't hear me because he was so into his biz. I said, Pop, my sneakers. He didn't hear me. I said, oh, here come. <laughs> yeah, he don't hear I just I scared the hell out of my grandpa. <laughs> he hit his head on the hood. He dropped his beard. Why you go up? <laughs> he chased me for two blocks. But he couldn't catch me. <laughs> There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.